Hello, and welcome to Luno's first annual Crypto Awards. We would have had a big gala, but it's COVID. This is where we celebrate the best, the brightest, and the dumbest moments in a year of Bitcoin. What a year it's been. We kicked off things with the brink of World War III, and finished with UFOs. That's not to mention the global pandemic that destroyed life as we know it. If 2020 was a TV series, critics would have been calling it hard to follow. But at least things are simple in crypto. Bitcoin's back. That's right, the only way was up for crypto this year. From the highs of the halving in March to a new all-time high last month, it was happening. And you all played a massive part. So thanks for making it such an amazing year within the space. So without further ado, let's dive into the awards. Full of the year. Well, there are a lot of contenders in this category. From Twitter founder Jack Dorsey to billionaire investor Paul Tudor Jones. So let's take a closer look at some of them. You would buy, uh, say, Bitcoin. I bought $175 million worth of Bitcoin in three days, 72 hours. Between 55 and 70 million people own Bitcoin. We really, if you're buying Bitcoin, your bet is that number is going to go to 120 million or to 200 million. I'm such a huge believer in, in Bitcoin. And I'm even toying with the idea of selling my gold to buy Bitcoin, more Bitcoin. Wow. My view, I'm very bullish, very excited. And as um, our friend Raul Powell likes to say, irresponsibly long. So. <laughs> that Bitcoin will one day be the global reserve currency of the world. Um, I think uh, this decade will be the decade of crypto. If Bitcoin ever reaches one trillion, that's still 10% the size of gold. Could it reach 10% of gold's market cap? I think so. And the winner is... MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor. Yeah, those are only ever going to be one winner this year, Megan. The Nasdaq listed business intelligence giant was buying up all the crypto he could in 2020. It started in August when MicroStrategy announced they bought 21,000 BTC worth of approximately $250 million big. Wow, and they just kept on buying like a bull in a china shop. They currently own approximately 40,000 Bitcoin and then borrowing another 650 million to buy more. MicroStrategy kickstarted a wave of institutional investment that many in the space have been waiting for. Their moves have been widely credited with a renewed interest in the space and bringing hype and helping us hit the all time high. Sailor himself has been a consistent source of bullish optimism on Twitter and in interviews, telling anyone who listens how great Bitcoin is. Big up, Mikey. Keep it going for 2021. I mean, if Bitcoin is hope. Whale of the year. This was another category with a lot of contenders. MicroStrategy was buying a square but more than 50 million worth of Bitcoin. Props to even smaller players like Mode, too, for putting their cash reserves into Bitcoin. Goodbye, Melting Ice Cuban. Hello, brighter future. The winner is, <laughs> however, drum roll. <laughs> Grayscale! Whoa. CEO of Grayscale's parent company, DCG, Barry Silbert, has tweeted jokingly a number of times about the apparent race between Grayscale and MicroStrategy for who can buy more Bitcoin. Amazingly, Grayscale investments recently surpassed over 10 billion in crypto under management. Crazy. 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 About, Save some fuss, Baza. I mean, please. <laughs> about 9 billion are held in Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, which now holds more than 500,000 Bitcoin. most indecisive project of the year. Will they? Won't they? Will they? Won't they? This special award goes to the project least likely to make up its mind. And the winner is... <laughs> of course it's Libra! It has to be. It has to be, of course. Or dear. I mean, <laughs> what do they know? I don't know. After launching last year, they spent a lot of 2020 trying to make it clear that they're not Facebook, and they're gonna to appease to the regulators. They did change their name to DM, and now they're rumored to be launching in January 2021 with something that looks very, very different to what they originally set to build. They're definitely launching though, and while it might only be a dollar stable coin, it's still backed by some huge companies with massive reach. Well, I definitely wouldn't bet against them, and I also wouldn't bet against another rebrand to Zuckbuck. I'm looking forward to watching it unfold. Mass adoption move of the year. This year might have been all about institutional investment, but there's still a lot going on for retail. And this award goes to the company making things happen this year. Without further ado then, Megan, who is it? The winner is PayPal. 
<laughs> well, PayPal launched its crypto service to all of its US customers back in October. Now all eligible PayPal account holders in the US can buy and sell crypto directly on the platform. This opens up crypto to its massive user base, which includes 28 million merchants who can accept Bitcoin and over 350 million customers who can spend it with them. Yes, you can buy a coffee with your Bitcoin. And they've already expanded their offering after unprecedented demand, and they're likely to expand further next year. Congrats, PayPal. Let's see where it goes from here. Trend of the year. The winner is, and it can only be... It's DeFi! DeFi was threatening to blow up in 2019, and this year it came good on its threat. But coming to 2020, what ICO was to 2017. The DeFi industry exploded in 2020, with the total value locked in DeFi growing from 690 million on the 1st of January to a staggering 11 billion as of November. And with Ethereum 2.0 due out soon, there could be another Luno trophy sitting on DeFi's mantelpiece in 2021. Well, I wouldn't bet against it. Oops of the year. There is, unfortunately, still a lot of dumb around Bitcoin. And they're so vocal about it too. Why? The award this year though goes to a man who's been wrong about Bitcoin so many times. This is less of a yearly award and more of a lifetime achievement award. Yeah. That's right, it's Peter Schiff. I don't know. The gold bug didn't stop making stupid predictions in 2020. First, he lost access to his Bitcoin wallet. Then he predicted Bitcoin USD would keep crashing, accidentally cooling the bottom in the process. And Bitcoin has soared almost 400% since this tweet. So Meg, how many times will Shift be wrong next year? Will people keep writing Bitcoin obituaries only to be proved wrong? I don't know. But what I do know is that that's all from us for this year. <sighs> What was your highlight of 2020? Was it India reversing its ban on crypto trading? Was it Bitcoin hitting a new all-time high? Or was it just leaving the house to get a coffee? And what about next year? What are your predictions for 2021? Give us a shout in the comments and let us know. And remember to like and subscribe. Go on, treat yourself. And from everyone at Luno TV, happy holidays. And as always, hashtag to the moon! <laughs>